Okay, so the problem says negative 2 plus r over 9 is greater than negative 1. So when you guys are doing these problems, please, please just forget about it's an inequality and just write it as an equation and remember your steps for equations. So negative 2 plus r over 9 equals negative 1. All right? Now I'm going to go through this very, very, very slowly. Just very slowly. Remember, to get our variable by itself, we need to undo the operations. The first thing we always undo is whatever is adding or subtracting to our variable. All right? Now, we see my variable is being divided by 9. So I'm not going to do that first. Then I look at this and I say, all right, I have a negative 2 plus. Now, since you're adding a negative, that's the same thing as subtracting, right? So to do the opposite of subtracting, I need to add a 2 to both sides. Remember, I'm adding a negative number. That's the same thing as subtraction. Remember, if you were to circle these two, negative 2 plus 2, that goes to what? Zero. Zero. And that's what you want. You want to get rid of all the numbers that are on the side of your variable. Now I have r over 9, negative 1 plus 2 is... Uh, one. Okay. Then the next thing is now to get now my variable is being divided by nine. So to undo division, I need to multiply. Therefore, r equals nine. All right. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to plug back in my inequality symbol. Now you got to make sure. I remember on my last example, I told you guys if you divided or multiplied by a negative number, you'd have to flip it. Right? Well, here we multiply by a positive 9. So my symbol is going to remain the same. Okay? But just be careful, guys. If you do uh, multiply or divide by a negative number, make sure you go and take a look at the symbol and make sure it's reversed. All right. So now what I told you guys to do is to plot that point. So 9 is going to be like right here. And you want to leave it open. Then let's just pick a point. I don't know if it's true or not. Let's pick a point to the left and to the right. Let's pick 0 and let's pick 20. So therefore, I say, is 0 greater than 9? Is 9 greater than 9? And is 20 greater than 9? So if you guys notice, for all my R's, what I did is I plugged in the three points that I, that I wrote down. So is 0 greater than 9? False. Is 9 greater than 9? False. Leave it open. Is 20 greater than 9? Yes. True. Yes. So therefore, I'm going to leave my point. 9 is not part of my graph, so that's why I'm going to leave it as an open circle. But my graph is going to go to the right. Meaning all numbers greater than 9, like 15 greater than 9, 25 greater than 9, all numbers to the right of that dot are true. All numbers to the left and at the dot are false. Make sense? Just set it as an equation, solve, put back in your symbol. Yes? Why is zero shaded in at this point? Yeah, I, like I said, um, it's not supposed to be shaded. You could plug, you could, I just wanted to show you a point. But yes, that would that would not be a, a point. That would be shaded, you know. I kind of did a different example.